Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, count distinct elements in a given window size for all the window sizes. The explanation is co completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in, take the course placement training for service based companies, uh, then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's class, uh, given array of n elements and a window size k, our task is to find distinct element count in each window. Let's try to understand with an example, n is equal to 7 means 7 elements, k is equal to 4 means window size is of size 4. So what's the what's they are asking means uh, if you take a window size of 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, this is the first window. What are the distinct number of elements uh, present in this 1, 2, 1, 3? Three elements are there. So the output is 3. If you take 2, 1, 3, 4, this is the next window. So what are the distinct elements? Four elements are there. If you take the next window, 1, 3, 4, 2. How many elements are there? Distinct elements? Four elements. If you take the next window, 3, 4, 2, 3. What are the distinct elements? How many distinct elements are there? Three elements are there. This is the output you have to provide. So the time complexity you have to maintain here is order of n and the space complexity is order of n. We need to maintain the time and space complexity. So the logic is very very simple. If you, if you understand the concept of hashing, in which way we can use hashing, writing this this logic is very very simple so if you watch our previous classes from the beginning of our hashing examples so that you will have a better understanding when in which situations we can use hashing to make the coding very very easy coming to the logic part see this orange box is our first window what we have to do in the first window is read the elements one by one and create a hash table hash table means key value pair one how many times it exists two times key value two how many times it exists one time three how many times it exists one time so during when you are creating this hash table you maintain a variable distinct elements and increment the count for distinct elements so the distinct elements is three this is the output which we are going to display the first the first box the first window distinct elements count is 3 add it to a list add it to an array that is the output you have to provide so from here onwards how we are going to do we consider the next window means uh, this blue box is our next window see this is the hash table for previous window from the previous window we eliminated one number what is that number 1 the first number which is 1 we eliminated that so we need some changes in the hash table 1 how many times it is there 2 times we eliminated 1 time so is it required to change the distinct element count no because this is a duplicate element already exist already existed here that's why we are not changing the distinct element count so this is the first step whatever the new element old element from the old window which element we eliminated the element we eliminated make these changes one how many times now one time so make these changes in the hash table and changes in the distinct element count in in this example we are not changing the distinct distinct element count why we are not changing because it is a duplicate element so whatever the element we removed make the changes similarly whatever the new element we added which element we added 4 is the element which we added make the changes to the hash table is 4 present in this hash table no so increment the distinct element count add 4 here and count is equal to 1 so the next window size is distinct element count is 4 next take the next window size so from here to here this violet color box is the next window size what is the element that you eliminated from the previous window 2 so check the count here 2 one time you eliminated that from the previous window make it as 0 count 0 means now in the present window 2 is not there so reduce the distinct element count to 3 because we eliminated 2 
which is one time here in the hash table. What is the new element added to the new window? 2. So again make it as 1 and make distinct element count as 4. So these two steps, which number you eliminated, make changes in the hash table and distinct element count. Which element you added, make changes in the hash table and distinct element count and keep the distinct element count into a array and output that array. This is the technique we are going to follow using the hash table. We can do it in order of n time by adding an extra space of order of n. So anyhow, we are going to show you the code here, but our suggestion is by listening to the code, you can you solve the example on your, on your own. That is the best practice. So the coding is available in our website, learningmonkey.in. You can copy the code and you can execute it. Uh, the point you have to understand here is uh, we are using a default dictionary class. Uh, without using this also you can do it uh, by doing some modifications. Uh, we are going to explain what is this default dictionary. See MP, we are taking a dictionary variable MP and we are assigning it to as a default dictionary lambda is equal to 0. In the dictionary, if the element you, if the key you are going to search, if it is not there in the dictionary, it is going to give you a default value as 0. If it is 0, the element is not there in our uh, uh, dictionary, so that uh, you can add that element and you can increment the dictionary uh, distinct element count. If you, if you are not going to use this, what's the modifications you have to do? See, 4 is not present in the dictionary second time if it is not present in the dictionary you have to add it you, you change some modifications so so here if two if you remove two from this previous window what we are doing here we are making it as zero if you are using default dictionary you remove this element so according to that you can change the logic these points these points you have to understand from the coding part you have to focus uh, by by looking at the code. You, you are going to get the that clarity about uh, one of if you use default dictionary. What's the logic we are following? If you are eliminating this default dictionary and keeping it as a, uh, uh, if you are not using this default dictionary, small changes in the logic uh, uh, by adding the elements and uh, in that uh, dictionary elements, uh, there is a small change. What's the change? According to that change, change the logic. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.